This time we are going to talk about loading remote images. So notice that last time we talked about you can also initialize an image object using a UI image. And if you want to initialize UI image, you can also use data. So this also provides you a potential way to do it, which is to first fetch the data in some way and then use this image UI image approach. But in Swift UI, there's a building async image feature. So loading, reading from its description, it loads and displays a modifiable image from the specified URL using a custom placeholder until the image loads. So there are other initialization methods for this async image, but I do suggest you use this one with a placeholder so that you can display a progress view when the image is loading. Let's use this method, async image URL content and placeholder. Hit enter, and then you will see first you will need to enter a URL. So here you just type a URL that can be either fetched from your database or fixed URL. Right here I'm using a fixed URL, I'm using a placeholder image that I find online. And then here for the content, we click on it and then you hit enter on your keyboard. And now this will be converted to code blocks. So right within these blocks, we'll put the code, uh, especially the Swift UI view components. So in the first block here, we put the image. So that means the retrieved image from the internet. So fetched image, right? And then we just display that image. And of course, we might want to do some resizing as said uh, in the last video. So let's do a view modifier for resizable and let's do a scale to fit and let's limit the frame. Uh, I would like the frame maybe to uh, 200 or actually 150 because in the placeholder image has a size of 150. Now for the placeholder, uh, you might want to do a progress view. So we will talk about this later in a separate video, but progress view basically, if you do not provide any initialization parameters, it will display a spinning circle or like a regular progress view in iOS. All right, so now let's preview this change. Uh, as said in the first video, on the right side of your code editor, you got a Swift UI preview. If you do not see this view, however, you should click on this icon over here and make sure Canvas is toggled on. There is also a shortcut, which is Option, Command, and Return. So if you hit the three, turn, three keys at the same time, it will toggle on or off the Canvas. If your preview is paused, however, you can hit this um, clockwise icon to resume the preview. So let's click on that icon and now the preview is loading. Now we have the preview and you can see we have loaded our placeholder image from the internet. Now, if I change this to something like uh, 150 and 100. Oh, also there's a way if you want to reload a preview, you can hit this um, play icon or on the left um, bottom corner. All right, you can see the image has changed and that is of course fetched from the uh, from the internet. Now, as I said before, this for this frame, uh, this frame is basically limits the um, the width and the heights. So if you also define height, as I'm in this case, 150, 100, this matches the image size. However, if I limit the height to 80, the image will be smaller because um, this is a strict frame. So say if your image has a height of 100, but you limit the height to 80, uh, the image will have a maximum height of 80. But it could be less than 80 if the um, if the image width um, and the image height is less than the, the specified value. All right, so the frame is basically limits the the maximum on uh, of a uh, of an image. All right, so that's async image where you can provide a URL and you can um, in this code block you provide the code to display the image, the fetched image, and then in the placeholder you display a progress view. Or alternatively, you can also provide a title like image loading in progress. Just to test 
we can provide a wrong URL and if we run it, you will just see it just uh, uh, stopped at the image loading progress stage. So there's no way to know whether the image loading failed. You will just see the placeholder when their image doesn't exist.